Hello guys, and today I'm going to be playing which Marvel character am I? Because Marvel is my favorite. As I don't even... Company, I guess. Movie producer. Marvel is the main one I watch, even though technically my favorite superhero from Marvel doesn't belong to Marvel anymore, and it's actually Sony. I guess Sony's okay too. Marvel superior teams are all drafting new members. Which do you want to be a part of? The Avengers... The X-Men, don't, oh wait, they might own X-Men now because Disney owns Marvel and Disney owns Fox that owns X-Men. What motivates you? Adventure, Sense of Duty, just, I guess, Adventure. Tonight's the night you're going on your third date with the most perfect person in the world. What makes them so attractive to you? Will make them attracted to me. They have a strong moral compass. They're... I guess strong moral compass. When it comes to relationships, would you ever date another superhero? I mean, I feel like, I don't know. I don't think it really matters. If you had it your way, would you like your last meal on Earth to include? I'm going to go with fast food. I'm going to be a real American today. You suspect someone close to you has betrayed you. What do you do? Oh, God. <laughs> Kill them before you can make you do any more damage. I'll just confront them. Is there any other options real quick? I'll just have a few words with them over. Yeah, probably. Hey, buddy, let's talk about this. So I've been, I've been hearing some rumors. Doom Oh wait, is it still questions? Oh I thought I, I thought that was my answer. I was like Doom, okay. Doctor Doom has stolen the powers of the Silver Surfer and taken over the world. How will you stop him? Since Doctor Doom is bound by honor, I'd try to reason with him, and if that didn't work, I'd use force as necessary. I'd fight him. I'm smarter than him. My ego demands it. Well, that depends. Is the person I love in danger? What? Well, I try to always do the right thing, even if that means getting my butt handed to me. I mean, I'd join the Fantastic Four and work as a team. The solution is bigger than me. I'd, I'd probably work as a team. I mean, does it have to be, well, I'm in, I'm part of the Avengers, technically, so Avengers and Fantastic Four duo, that'd be a good movie, I'd watch it. Uh, you just got caught driving too fast, and now you've got a speeding ticket, what do you, <laughs> I'd probably just pay the fine. <laughs> um, what's your favorite part of being a superhero? Um... Living a life of mystery, having the coolest toys, meeting other people like me. I always thought I was, um, you see my, I guess. I'm very, I'm very much like help people that need help. That's how I am. One of your coworkers is always putting you down. What is this? I don't hire people that put me down for one. I'd put I'd pull the person aside and talk to them privately, find out what's really going on. You know, I can only take uh, so much before I explode. I just walk away. I've got bigger fish to fry. I dish it right back out to them. I mean, I wouldn't make them cry, but I'd probably dish it back out to them. I'll take whatever they say as a compliment and diffuse the situation. I'd turn their insult into a joke. Probably turn it into a joke. <laughs> Nick Fury has asked you to represent S.H.I.E.L.D. and go out to dinner with a very important client. The only catch, their breath is... Atrocious? 
how do you act? I'd ignore their breath. Atrocious? Is that? I'd ignore their breath and pay for the meal. It's the right thing to do. I'd cancel. I'd probably just ignore it. Okay, number 12. You have a big day planned at work, but wake up with a cold. What do you do? I mean, I don't really work, so take a healthy dose of medicine and see how I feel a little bit. No. Uh, curl back up and bang us and rest. There's no way I'm going to work today. Possible. Depends on what my job is. Suck it up and go to work. Hopefully I'll feel better by lunchtime. Call my boss and let him know I'm sick and I can't. I can work remotely. Be like quarantine, working remotely at home. 13. What's your relationship to large family gatherings like holidays and family reunions? I love my family. We have our ups and downs, but at least we have each other. I don't have family. I avoid them at all costs. I don't avoid my family. I just don't like when we have giant get-togethers because I'm just socially awkward and just stand there and look at people. And then there's that one person that you never seen, and they're like, oh, that's your third cousin and you're just like oh pick one thing from a fairy tale to have with you in everyday life what is it an apple what are half of these things oh a genie like grants three wishes a poison apple a ton of woodland friends a magical singing voice i think i already have the magical no I'm just probably three wishes it's time to get deep at least when it comes to exploration, that's right. We're making you pick deep sea or deep space. Where would you rather explore? Deep sea. I also want to point out that I actually make superhero books and I write them and I have them. I might put a link in the description to that. Y'all can read them if you want. Um, we promise this question won't make you evaporate when we snap our fingers. Still, you should pick an infinity stone. I forgot. So I know green is time. I forgot the colors, what the colors were. I know green is time, and that's the only one I know. Reality, soul, mind, space, time. The soul one, no. Space, no. Maybe time. I don't know. I, I think, I think I want reality, actually. I lied. Changing reality, that will help me a lot. How would you rate your rel relative... Relative... <laughs> uh... Uh, messy, but not dirty, I guess. Well, I'd prefer that you not enter my home things. It's not really my home, but okay, Adventure. If you weren't a superhero, what would your job be? Teacher, first responder, spy, truck driver, doctor, personal trainer, is billionaire a career option? None of these. I would be none of these. But we'll say teacher. But I would be none of those. Which animal is your soulmate? What animal do you feel like you most relate to? Is this a question? Dolphin. Duh. How would you describe the art in your home? Well, I don't really have love art. I, I have my, my sadly passed away leopard gecko hanging, a Christian cross. We got a drawing that one of my family drew for me. My dog, I mean, I, I, I guess. One of a kind, my, my dead leopard, my passed away leopard gecko is one of a kind, so. Does any part of being the president sound appealing to you? Oh, ha ha, ha ha. <laughs> yes. There's my career option. There we go. We finally found it. Okay. All of these things suck. But what's the worst thing that could happen to you on a date? You're not physically attracted to them. No, that's not that bad. All they do is talk about themselves. I mean, I have nothing important going on. So that's pretty much what the conversation would be. Anyways, they complain a lot. They have no manners. They're boring. One of us forgot their wallets. They're into astrology. I guess it's they complain a lot. Because if they have no manners, it's not a big deal. 
I mean, I prefer manners, but you know, pick one of these food foods. Congratulations. You're now eating only this food for the rest of your life. Hope you choose wisely, but what did you choose anyways? What? Mm, okay, we need to be strategic about this. Grilled cheese. What is the nutrition value? You got fiber. I don't know. Okay. It's between steak and sushi. Sushi. Steak and sushi. I like both. I'm going to go with sushi because there's multiple sushis. Like, I can have different. I can have the California roll. I can have all the different types. Well, I guess a sandwich would be more strategic. I don't know. You could fill the sushi roll with anything you want. What social fox pass really grates your gear, gears the most? What sends you into a blind rage for no reason? Are Republicans on this? <laughs> People chewing with their mouth open, burping in public, deliberate ignorance. People who constantly forget other people's names. People who don't hold the door for others. Phone addicts. People who feel the need to play devil's advocate in every situation. Okay. I hate when people burp. Well, in public, when I'm eating, I hate when people burp. In public, I mean, you do you, I guess. Deliberate ignorance. Okay. The, that can get me into a rage. Trump supporters all the time get me into rages because of their ignorance. But people who play devil's advocate in every situation also get me mad. But I mean, you could play devil's advocate and still have an intellectual conversation, but you can't be ignorant and have an intellectual conversation. So I'm going to go with deliberate ignorance. Last question. How would you rate this quiz? I mean, it was, it was pretty okay. You know, it's not bad. It's not good. You know, it's, good. it's medium. It says hold on tight. Hold on tight to what though? <sighs> oh my God, guys. I am Iron Man. You are not afraid to just go for it. Whatever it may be. Yes, you're arrogant but that's only because you've accomplished so many cool things in life if life gives you lemons you'll find a way to revolutionize the entire lemon industry before breakfast <laughs> or i just make orange juice and leave the world wondering how i did it um insanely competitive you're married to your job i'm married to the president that's me well it's not my job wait hold up i'm not the president um <laughs> future president <laughs> And if you did happen to get married to an actual person, you're willing to bet they'd have something to do with your job. I wouldn't marry because my job and marry because I like somebody. You can be a jerk, but you're willing to sacrifice everything to help other people, and that's not insignificant. Share your super results with your friends. Well, I don't have friends, and I was hoping I'd get Spider-Man, so can I redo the last question and rewrite? No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I like Iron Man. He's my second favorite. I guess Iron Man and Spider-Man are my favorite duo. They're my favorite, too. Well, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Goodbye.